so this is going to be one of those videos where um, I try a lot of stuff and pull some funny faces when I make myself eat the stuff that I know for a fact I'm not going to like because it'll be uh, slightly entertaining for people. So I was going to start with this, this the candy shot cola in my head thinking it's going to be like millions or like nerds and stuff so I started unpeeling the label to figure out how to open the flipping thing and this is what's inside it's like a gelatinous liquid of some description and I don't know how to open it and it does have nutritional information on it so I do know you're supposed to eat it so this is a mystery. I have no idea what it's going to be like until I figure it out. This is an icy brand sour candy in blue raspberry. A squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. I'm going to squeezy, squeezy it on my finger. Instead of directly into my gob like a dirty pig. And oh my god. That thought sour. Oh, they were not messing when they said that they were sour okay now I'm afraid um, this is a graffiti candy spray and it's supposed to colour your tongue so here's my tongue now uh, sort of palish and pink mm. <laughs> oh that's not bad This is rather delicious. Oh. All right, I'm going to try these uh, sour octopods. Of course, these plural. They're Greek, not Latin. That's why it's octopods, not octopi or octopuses. Ooh, and untangle one. Okay, so here is this sour cherry grape it's supposed to be. These not that sour. So let's see how these sour punch bites try. <sighs> right. Not that sour. Yeah. Okay. Starburst gummies. Claiming to be sour. Bloody hell, American bags. Why are you so hard to open? It smells so good though. What have I got? Apple. Oh no, watermelon. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. So good. Not sour though. The Jolly Rancher sour gummies. These are the last of the sours. So we've got apple, lemon, cherry, watermelon, blue raspberry. Obviously, blue raspberry. Not very sour. Now let's try this nerd's candy corn. We've got orange shell with cherry watermelon inside. Watermelon shell with cherry watermelon inside. Blue raspberry shell with blue raspberry fruit punch inside. Strawberry lemon shell with blue raspberry fruit punch inside. 
uh, strawberry shell with grape inside and grape shell with strawberry inside. Very yummy. Very yummy. Orange shell with cherry watermelon inside. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho mm, ho The orange one is definitely the best one. Okay. So then I've got original Jolly Rancher gummies. Obviously, blue raspberry. That was nice. Well, I'm going to try all the weird chocolate. Um, so let's start with the Twix cookies and cream. I uh, I, I, don't, I don't really like Twixes, and I don't really like cookies and cream. <laughs> um. So, so this should be an interesting experience as I bash it into this Twix finger. Mmm, tastes like dirt. This is the Snickers peanut brownie. Now, I love Snickers and I love peanuts. I am not a brownie fan. And I shall tell you for why. Because, in my experience, brownies are like dry as all anything. It's Sometimes it's like eating a mouthful of sand when you have a brownie. Like... I had a teacher at school who was like, oh, I'm going to make brownies. You won't believe these brownies, they're so good. And she brought them in and I was like, this is this is worse than a rice cake. So it's a chocolate covered brownie thing with peanuts. Like, It's not so much the taste, it's the texture. It's weird. Why am I making myself finish it? So she, she sent me two flavour Kit Kats. One is mocha chocolate and one is key lime pie. And if if there's a, a saying that I live by, it's fruit and chocolate should not go together. And I feel quite the same about desserts in general. Like, unless you want like a bowl of fruit, like don't put your fruit in my pies or my cakes. So I'm gonna break off a, a finger. This is it. Oh wow, that's very lime. Very, very lime. Very lime smelling. Of course, it's, it's flavoured white chocolate as well, so it's got that going for it. No one's making me do this. It's so weird. It's like eating a lime opal fruit at the same time as eating a Kit Kat.
Delicioso. I kind of feel like I deserve to eat possibly a nice one now, which is the, the mocha and chocolate. This is this has got to be nice, right? It's mocha. It's got to be, it's got to be nice. Smells of coffee. I was about to say that's not that bad. And then the coffee taste kicked in. <clears throat> Um, let's just say I'm not a fan. So she sent me these. I mean, I thought she was my friend. <laughs> Pigs and taters. Lemon meringue and toffee brittle. Toffee brittle is probably going to be nice. I'm not sure I'm going to like lemon meringue. I know I'm definitely not going to like this. Bacon and potato chips. In chocolate. It smells very, very lemony. So this is Hammond's Lemon Meringue. It's got like a lemon fondant through it. No, no, I'm sorry, no. This is the one you came for. I'm not going to say what it smells like. Bacon and potato chips flavoured chocolate. Does this one have fondant? No, thank God. Okay. That's one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. This has got to be better. Or I'm just going to assume that my friend hates me. This is the toffee brittle. Blind faith. Really good. After the bacon chocolate. Um, I'm, I'm not up for trying the pumpkin where there's originals, I'm sorry. So I'm going to finish on the root beer sweets because I love root beer. And I, uh, I think I deserve it. Because I've just had a very hard time. Oh, they smell so good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 I love it. Mmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I've got two of these. Oh my god. Oh. With some of this stuff. I'm going to keep my from my friends to try. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that I'm probably the only person who was brave enough to try the bacon chocolate. But, um. If anyone is else brave enough, I will record it. 
and you should watch this space for a future update.